Well, the Auburn Knights football team went through a 3-6 and six season last year under first-year head coach Willie Tolan. In year two, there is legitimate reason for optimism with his team. Let's join the Knights for our two-a-day preview. Coach Tolan will be the first to admit things are a lot different this August than they were last year at this time since he's had a full summer with the guys. I'm very excited for what's to come. The, the IQ of the guys are high right now, and it's, it was... We're way ahead of where we were last year. We got a good high expectation. I feel like last year we did all right, not the best, but this year we trying to make proof a statement. Big running back and linebacker Patrick DeBose is ready to be one of the leaders for the Knights. He's also ready to plow through defenses with his big, strong frame like he did last year. DeBose is like a special kid, and I can't wait to see him with the ball in his hands again. This year, DeBose will have more help in the offensive backfield with the addition of Rockford Lutheran transfer A.J. Moore. Moore brings a lot of burst at running back. He got speed, he got good footwork, he got a lot of stuff, strength. I know he did really good things for Lutheran, but I feel like he'll do way better things at Auburn. He gelled with the team as soon as he got here. Moore isn't the only key transfer player on Auburn. Three big linemen from East have joined the team. Malik Woods, Jabari Woods, and Omar Ellis. This offense has a lot of potential. Speedy Terry Horton and Leonard Spates are back at receiver, along with speedy newcomers Will Johnson and Tevin Tennille. Philip Horton is back to give the Knights another threat at running back, and senior Anthony Purifoy returns a quarterback. He passed for more than 1,300 yards last year, including 10 touchdown passes. He's going to be more precise in his, uh, uh, his reading of the defense. We're going to have to have a balanced offense, so we don't have too much to think about. Senior Jasper Jenkins is back to lead the defense. He was special mention all-conference on the line last year. This year, he's moving to linebacker. DeBose will also be a key at linebacker, along with Philip Horton. Terry Horton, Moore, and Spates will ball hawk in the secondary. How much of a jump do you expect this team to make this year? How competitive do you feel your Knights can be? Well, that remains to be seen. Uh, I use the analogy of having a dog. You never know what that dog can do till they get in the fight. And that's where we're at. You know, we'll, week one, we'll see, and we'll go from there.